everyone, my name is Nathan Payne. Welcome to another episode of Blue Ocean Crypto. Today we're going to cover a long-awaited introduction to cornucopias. Now, disclaimer, I've actually been involved with this for a really long time, but I've kind of held off on doing a video because there is a lot to cover. So I really am going to try to keep this as short as possible as an introduction, but there's definitely going to be a lot more videos that we can make moving forward. Now, why is that? Right? This is a metaverse game. There is so much you can do. They're creating economies, there's racing games, there's shooting games. It almost reminds me of kind of what Star Atlas promised us all, where they're going to create this universe within this game, right? Which is really a metaverse. But there's been some amazing things that have really impressed me about this project, like the team, their minting, just so much. So let's jump right into it. So of course, coming here right to the website, right away, the first thing that stands out is they're talking about play to earn, build to earn, and learn to earn. So where players can be rewarded with and or own land, properties, and NFT-based assets with real world value. So it's not just play to earn. There's really this whole economy, player-driven economy. They're even having aspects where you can learn things to get paid for your time learning it. And you can kind of see a preview of the, the video there, of kind of this sky island almost area where you can travel around to go to these different places. This is going to be incredible. Uh, this is on Cardano, so ADA. And in my opinion, this is the best project on that entire network. Now, of course, uh, I'm sure there's lots of other projects being developed there too, but this one definitely takes the cake for me. So what, one thing I will mention is when you're doing your own research on this, make sure you head to their Discord and interact with the community. I'd say that's probably one of the best parts about this. They're really amazing at keeping everyone up to date with everything that's going on. Uh, but I'm not going to cover that in this video because there's so much over in their Discord. So let's just take a quick look through the website. So you can see the, the tokens are already out. There's opportunities for staking and stuff like that. But I really like their tokenomics. So you can kind of see here all the different token allocation. They actually have the largest percent for play to earn, which is really nice to see. Because a lot of projects actually have only like 20% or 15% for that. So not only do we have a little more than 30% for play to earn, there's 15% for staking and farming rewards. There's also all this other stuff that I think is nice, like they have a floating liquidity. Uh, team and advisors is only 24%, which is actually pretty good to see. So I really like this breakdown and I feel like they've done a good job and it's really nice to see that extra 30% uh, towards play to earn. So they do have a blog with lots of great information that comes out as well as they're following content creators. You know, their website's kind of very straightforward in that aspect. So I want to jump over to the marketplace first and show you what that look, look, looks like. And then we'll dive into some more details about the game. Because this is something that really blew me away. These guys are doing minting probably better than most projects. And let's, just to show you here, we've got pretty much one of almost every, if not every NFT possible. So there is uh, a common large land we have, Carmen, a common large dome. I've got all of the three trees, which were part of like a charity event thing they did for tree planting. I also have a javelin and then there's the uh, bubble, bubble sprinter, which reminds me of the Jetsons. And that one we actually have legendary. So we've got pretty much everything we can to have a full collection uh, to get started in this game. But when you mint these, they have this really nice marketplace you go to. You log in with your wallet. I recommend a NAMI wallet. And I'll do an instruction video on how to set that up here soon. And then once the mint is live, you simply you come here, you pay the ADA. It's a very smooth process. Uh, now, the first couple mints they did, they had to kind of learn things and there were some issues. But what I really liked is they improved upon it every single time. The only caveat I will mention is you got to be lightning fast. If you want to get it on that min, we're talking like three to five seconds sometimes is the maximum time that they'll give, you know, before it kind of runs out or it's off. So it's a little bit of an intense experience, but uh, it's really well done how they did this. And of course, there's a whole tutorial on how to connect your wallet and how to get ready and things to do. And people in the community are actually really helpful about that. They're not trying to keep all that information secret. You know, so it's okay to ask for tips and things on mints if you haven't done it before. But I definitely try to make sure I make everyone. And that's saying something because to be honest, usually I'm too busy to worry about making the mints for a lot of projects. I'll quite often wait for it to roll to the secondary market. With Cornucopius, I don't. I, I really do try to make sure to make it all the mints. 
Okay, so you guys heard the minting is great. This seems like an awesome game, but really what, what is it about? What's the style of game? So the island, as they call it, is a massive play to earn, build to earn, learn to earn game. We covered that in the beginning, right? But they're going to have different themed zones, such as Wild West, Farm Life, Age of Samurai. So there'll be a whole series of mini games. Basically, the idea is you want to, you're going to get lost in this play to earn ecosystem where you can earn real money, real world value as you explore and build in their safe and secure world. So basically, imagine you're in a game with all kinds of other games within that. So instead of like Gala Games or Karmaverse where they have all these different separate games, Cornucopius is basically going to encapsulate all of this into their main game, Cornucopius, but now you can go to all these different theme zones, which is really cool. I mean, to me, this is really what a metaverse is or what I first thought a metaverse would be when it was first explained, uh, you know, and conceptualized with Web3. So it talks about how there's going to be real world commerce opportunities for traditional e-commerce companies to sell and promote their brands goods and services try to read like they have a lot of goals with this with the commerce side and the economy and i think that's going to be really amazing also it's going to be built on unreal engine 5 which is compatible with pc mobile phones game consoles and smart tvs and it's going to be governed and forever evolving thanks to the growing number of communities including blockchain unreal game developers, voxel, 3D artists and models, and general game enthusiasts. So this is something that's basically, by the sounds of it, is going to be forever continued to be developed. And in, in my opinion, it's one of the largest projects for any Web3 as far as what they're promising they're going to deliver, which is why, like I said, I was kind of hesitant on doing this video too soon because I wanted to make sure you guys had enough information and we're going to have to space out all the content over quite a few videos but this is just really an introduction. Now one of the other best parts about this project, the team. Now I don't want to spend too much time going through all of the individuals here. A lot of them are amazing people but in particular these two individuals have really stood out to me. So they're usually tag teaming most of the videos. Uh, you know if you go to the YouTube they're constantly up doing updates and content. But in particular, Robert, I want to make a mention for because the first time I heard this gentleman speak, I think it was like an hour AMA type situation, and I was super impressed. Not only could you tell he completely understands cryptocurrency, Web3 play to earn, he was talking about concepts and ideas and things that were truly innovative in this space. And he's really what sold this project to me more than anything. Gameplay looked awesome. I'm interested in farm games. Sure, it's kind of checking all those boxes. But the moment I heard Robert speak, that's really where my conviction came from. So I highly recommend you check out some of their videos and just listen to this guy. He's, he's brilliant. And then Josh, I would almost say he's kind of like the charisma between the two of them. Very passionate, very well experienced uh, in entrepreneurship as well. And, you know, him and Robert together really make this awesome team. So I love Josh's energy and his enthusiasm, uh, but Robert's expertise and genius, you know, that combination is really cool. Now, yes, there's a lot of other amazing people uh, on their team, and I highly recommend you check, out, check them out. Same with the advisors. But those two guys individual, individually really kind of made this for me. I was like, okay, this is a serious project. Let's take a look. These guys know what they're talking about. This sounds amazing. And they're just doing a lot. Um, you know, they're constantly releasing updates. They're constantly stress testing things. They're constantly making improvements. I actually think a lot of projects could learn a lot from Cornucopius. So I want to show you guys before um, we go too far, just a quick video on some gameplay trailer and how the building system is going to work. So I'm really excited about this. Clouds and I think the whole sky idea is really awesome. Being able to travel around in this printer bubble jet, definitely gonna have that Jetson feel. And I mean, there's even a video just on the clouds showing like the detail of the clouds that they're doing. So, I haven't watched this video in its full entirety yet. So this will be a little bit of a, I wouldn't say reaction video, so to speak, but I'm going to be along the journey with you guys here. So let's take a look at what it is. 
So we know we're going to have a house, right? Because if you have a plot of land, you're obviously going to have to have a home. Okay, I like how they're showing you can interact with these different objects. Like, obviously, this is a radio. Probably going to be able to customize the music that you put in there. And look at that dome. That just looks so awesome. I love the water aspect to it, too. Like, here's the thing. You own a floating piece of land. Like, you're literally floating. It's not, like, static on the ground. Okay, here we go. This is what I wanted to see. Being able to custom build your entire home. This is going to be really cool. And, I mean, we've all kind of expected this. There are other projects doing it in this space, but not at this level in my opinion. And yeah, this is going to be full customizability. Like, we're going to, you're going to be able to make whatever home you really want. There's going to be tons of different sofas, tables, lamps, speakers, clock, all of that. It's going to be fun just kind of building the home. Now, here's the thing. Why not build a place that you could have guests over? Or maybe you want to do business meetings. Maybe you want to talk about a new expansion on your project. Maybe you just want to have a party. There's actually a lot of things that this can really accomplish because this game truly is a metaverse. So it's not just for fun and hanging out by yourself in this home you built. You can actually hold events in this place on your dome if you want. And I like how they're kind of fast forwarding it here. Just to kind of show us quickly. Oh, interesting. Okay, so you can... I see what they're doing. Okay, you have to build some stairs. Now he's going to take a tour personally. <laughs> Pardon me. Oh, this looks awesome, right? Like being able to display your NFTs. Custom building the home. Okay, now I think maybe they're showing another quick example. Yeah, like a smaller home. Maybe almost like a little cabin or something. I love that there's the posters and you can showcase the NFTs. And obviously there's so much to oh, Who doesn't want a hammock like that? Come on, that looks amazing. So they're calling it the Bubbleverse. This is kind of showing the character creation. Awesome. I love the level of detail, but... This is truly a metaverse, I've said it quite a few times, but imagine being able to go into this game and then play all kinds of different themed games in different themed zones. Like there's even like a Halo style base attack FPS shooter that you can play, which looks really cool. Okay, so full customizability on the characters, which is great, all the way down to every little detail from the, from the brow height to your eyes. Name, Horde Star, I like that. This is really nice to see. You know, the level of customization is, is, is good. I mean, it's kind of what you would expect from characters, especially in a metaverse that you're going to want to be able to change. And I wonder, is some of those assets going to be NFTs? Like, can you buy special edition shirts, special edition shoes? Could get interesting. Now, here's the fun part, the bubble gym, or the sprinter. <laughs> this looks so cool. Well, you know, just going a casual 600, almost kilometers an hour, traveling through the metaverse in our jet <laughs> style spaceship thing. Okay, this is cool. They're showing us some tricks. Now imagine there being a whole city. You can travel to different commerce, different stores, different parties, different events, other people's lands and their domes. I get really excited about this because it makes me think about the future of gaming, metaverses, and just what's really possible, you know, in general, in this space. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
Uh, like I said, we'll do lots more moving forward with other content. There's so much to cover with this, but I just wanted to give you guys a brief kind of introduction, get you excited just like we are. And please be sure to make sure you subscribe to the channel, slam that like button because it helps the YouTube algorithm show this to more people. And of course, hit that bell notification to stay up to date with all the great content we have coming out for you guys on a constant basis. Okay, until next time, cheers. Don't forget about our 1,000 subscriber giveaway where you can win $200. And if you need more information, be sure to join us on our Discord. See you there.